Hey guys, um, I want to make a video about what happened to me um, earlier on today at about 5 a.m. or 4. Um, what happened is that, okay, last night I slept at about 7 p.m. Because my plan was to, yeah, I slept at about 7 p.m. and woke up at about half past 12 at night. Because my plan was that I would sleep at that time. Actually, I just fell asleep. But I wanted to wake up later on so that I could study. So, uh, thank God he woke me up and I was able to study. And so, I slept for about 5 to 6 hours. And so, um, I had uh, like I had enough rest so that I could be able to continue studying. So I studied from I think it was one, one from one o'clock until half past four. When it was half past four, I started to become sleepy. I I started to become tired, but I wasn't supposed to because I had slept five or six hours. That was enough rest for me. And so um, I was I was sitting right here on my table and I was studying, but. When I when I when I felt sleepy, I took my I took my chair that I'm sitting in right now, and I I moved closer to my bed, and I moved closer to my bed, and then I fell on my bed like this. I I sat I sat on my chair, and then my my back laid on the bed like this, with my hands like this. Okay, when that happened, I, I fell asleep, but I believe that God transferred my consciousness from my physical body into my soul. And in my soul, um, I, I, was, I, I was experiencing what I saw on the internet, they, they call it... Um, sleep paralysis but this was more than sleep paralysis because what happened is that i had my laptop on this table and i was watching a program a, a program by um it was a series it's a series where andrew womack andrew womack from cbc he was preaching about spirit soul and body and i was watching that while i was studying on my computer I had two windows open, uh, cascaded. One, one, one had, one had the work. I was reach, I was researching something. I was doing my work. I was researching something for my uh, project. And the other window, I was watching uh, Andrew Womack. But I, the one that I could see, the window that I could see was the one that I was researching. That's when I was studying. When I fell asleep, I wanted to just sleep for, like for maybe a few minutes. When I felt sleepy, or when I fell asleep, as I said, like I think God transferred my consciousness from uh, my body into my soul, and I could see I was in a soul realm. I don't know if it was a spirit realm, but I I, I was in my soul. I like I, I I was in my soul, and in my soul, I could I. There was a spirit. There was a spirit of um, a spirit of. I was made to understand that a spirit of laziness, a spirit of of um, slothfulness. That spirit. I was made to understand that the spirit was attacking me. And while I was sleeping on my bed, my body was sleeping with my hands uh, together like that, and. While I was experiencing this, um, while I was experiencing that, I could feel this heaviness, this heavy, this heaviness on my body as I was laying on my bed. Now I'm in a soulish realm. I could see, I could see my computer playing. My body was asleep, but I could see my computer. I could see my computer and. Andrew Womack was preaching there because I left it playing. And look, this 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 is so amazing. Look, the window 
that had my work, the research, I was researching something. That's the winter that I left there on my computer when I, fe when I slept, when I just sat down to sleep. But with my soul, I could see the other window actually playing. I could see Andrew Womack preaching there. My soul was actually watching Andrew Womack while I was studying. While I was researching, my soul was being fed with the word. So with that, I came to, an underst I came to understand that, you know, when we read the Bible or we listen to messages on the internet or on tapes or whatever, um, CDs or DVDs, whatever, if we if we if we watch these um, preachings, we're actually feeding our souls. I came to understand that through the through the the experience that I I, I went through, because my my soul was able to hear and see Andrew Womack preaching. He was preaching, because when I was working, I could hear the preaching, because it was in the other window which was hidden. It was in the other window which was hidden. So, okay, that was one thing. And while, when, I, when, when that spirit, when that spirit was um, pressing down on me, it was so heavy, I couldn't move it. I was trying my soul, because I wasn't really sleepy, it was that spirit that was making me sleepy, that spirit of slumber, spirit of laziness. I, I could feel it, I could hold it, I was, I was battling with it, trying to get it off my, my, it was on top of me like this, but I couldn't see it. I could hear it, but I couldn't see it. So I, I tried moving it. And so I couldn't. It was so heavy. My, my, my arms felt like they were made of metal or something. They were so heavy. My body was heavy. And before that, isn't it I said my hands were joined like this? My fingers were inter, inter um, connected like this. In, in that in that situation, at first I couldn't remove my hands. That spirit had me so, it was pushing me down. It wanted me not to study. It wanted me to be lazy and to just sit there. So I couldn't even move my hands like this. And so I asked somebody. That's why I'm not very sure if I was in a dream or, is, or if I was out of my body. But I do remember someone where I asked someone to actually help me pull these things up, to pull my arms apart because I didn't have strength to actually move my hands. So I got them apart. When I got them apart, that's when I started fighting with the, uh, the, the spirit, the, the demon. I was back in my room at the time. I was back, I, like I was back in my room. My body was still sleeping. I should say this, I didn't see my body I didn't see it, but I could feel it. It was still laying on my bed because at, later on, when my when my soul fell back in my body, I could I I saw myself sleeping like this. Then I woke up. I mean, like what I'm saying is that I did see, my my body was still sleeping like that when I went back into my into my body, and so I was I was battling with that um, spirit and I couldn't get it off. And then I started calling the name of Jesus. I said, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Because this sleep paralysis has actually happened has happened to me before. Um, many times. But this time, when I was calling the name of Jesus, um, God did, he ignored me on purpose. Because all of the time, I used to call his name. And the demon would just lose power and get off me and just leave me alone. But this time, like the Lord, I think the Lord ignored me on purpose so that I may take up my authority, the authority that he gave me. And so what I, I, I started getting angry. I started getting angry because it was going on for so long and I was supposed to call in the, call in the name of Jesus. Nothing was happening. Then I got angry. I said, you spirit of laziness. And then I was trying to get the spirit off me. The spirit of laziness. Because I was trying to get up. I was trying. My, my, my soul was trying to get up to work. To study on my table. I was trying to get up. But I, I couldn't. Because the spirit was holding me down. That spirit of sleepiness, of slumber. It was pushing me down. Until I, I said, in the name of Jesus, I command you spirit to get off me. 
I said it about two times and it left me. It just left me. That's when I went back into my body. That's when I, my spirit, cause, cause look, my body was laying flat like that. My body was laying flat on the bed like this. Then, when my body was laying flat, my soul was trying to get up, was trying to wake myself up, but that spirit was holding me down like that. And so, when I when I cast it out, when I got it off me, that's when my soul I went back into my body, and I and I opened my eyes. When I opened my eyes, that's when I realized. It. I said, "What? I think I had an out of body, an out of out of body experience." Because even while I was still fighting that demon, I could see my my room. I could see my 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 closet. I could see my closet and my heater, my heater here. I could see. I don't know about the heater, but the lights. I could see the lights. I could see um, my closet. I could see these things. It, how I could see them with my soul. So, so, um, after that, isn't it? I was fighting this, I was fighting, 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 fighting. Then, then I cast the demon off. After I cast the demon off, I went back into my body. I was like, it's like my soul fell back into my body like that. And I opened my eyes. When I opened my eyes, my hands were still connected like this. But now I had control. I could move them. I could move them and move them like this. That's when I got an understanding that, you know what? When you're studying and you just feel sleepy for no reason, if maybe you had slept and you had enough rest, and then all of a sudden you start feeling sleepy, or when you want to read your Bible, and then if you had energy all the time, and then just when you wanted to read the Bible, you start to become sleepy. You have to, you have to know that it's the devil, it's the demons. They, they, that spirit of slumber, the devil sends that spirit of slumber to make you sleepy, to make you sleepy. Because um, previous to this, um, I was going through a tough time. I was unable to study. I was unable to, to concentrate and work hard. And so I asked the Lord, why? Because I used to be late. I used to wake up late. I used to oversleep. And so I asked the Lord, like, why? Why is this happening to me? Because I'm serving you. I'm trusting in you. I'm, I'm living for you. I'm just pursuing you, pursuing your ways. I asked the Lord, why was this happening? And I think it took a week. Because it was about last week when I asked the Lord this. Or... Oh, a few days back but it was like almost a week and then that's when I um, experienced this I experienced this um, I think it was an out-of-body experience because my soul my body was laying on the bed and my soul I could my soul was fighting the the, 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 the spirit I could feel it with my hands I, I could hold that spirit and I was trying to push it like that off. It was like sitting on top of me, on top of my body, and my soul was trying to rest a little. And so, if you feel sleepy, you have to know that it's the devil, and you have to take your authority, take take up your authority, use your authority. I was watching a series uh, made um, by uh, uh, Andrew Womack. Andrew Womack. Andrew Womack. You can just search Andrew Womack. You'll see all his series over there. There's one that he made that spoke that uh, uh, speaks about um, the authorities, the authorities, but uh, the believers' authority, and that's where he explains about you have to take up your authority and command these demons, because a lot of most of the time we are asking God to do the things that He gave us power to be able to do. I don't know if you understand that, but if you can just watch that series, Andrew Womack explains it so nicely. But I had this experience. I was fighting with a demon of slumber. I couldn't see the demon, but I could feel him. I could feel that demon, that spirit, that spirit of slumber. I could, I could hold it. I was conscious in my soul, and I, could, I was fighting with it. 
So I thought that maybe I should do this video and help some of you. If maybe there's someone there, you don't understand why you sleep so much. Even after having slept enough, you still feel sleepy. You should know that this is it's a demon. The, Satan is setting up demons to, to... He wants us not to do well in life. Because now I'm in university. I'm in third year. I mean, this is critical. I have to pass. Because once I get my degree, you know, you have a bright future like that. So he's trying to destroy our lives. I'm just helping you if you will believe if you do believe just you should just call the name of jesus command that spirit to leave you whenever you feel sleepy i'm telling you it's a spirit it's a spirit i'm telling you so every time you want to read the bible or you want to study and you feel sleepy um out of nowhere you just feel sleepy it's the devil it's the devil you should command him to leave and so, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Thanks, guys.